students cutting their teeth in a variety of fields. Safety glasses, boots on. At the Saginaw Career Complex. This gives them an opportunity to try an occupation on to see if it's a good fit. Jenny Gino oversees the 22 programs here, including welding, We're actually gonna hook the gauges up. HVAC, and engineering and advanced manufacturing. These students earn college credit. They can earn certificates. They can earn sometimes associate's degrees, but they're also earning industry credentials that are absolutely essential for different occupations. So this one's gonna be the thing. Our instructor, Chad, has us be on time every day, and if we're not, we're losing points. So it's almost like an actual job. He's preparing us for the real world. Well, I'm speeding up to make it the thing. Plate. My teachers have just opened my eyes to the whole industry, knowing that I don't have to do just welding. I can go into basically anything else. Uh, we'll use the high side gauge on our gauges, which is our red one. Crafting these students into skilled workers isn't just a benefit for them. Hook a blue hose up to it and see what you get. Everybody's looking for young talent. There's places everywhere looking for students nowadays. And that's where the problem lies. According to the state, there will be roughly 45,000 annual job openings in the professional trades through 2030, and not enough people to fill them. Skilled trades in the region is, are, uh, for lack of a better term, dying breed. It, it's just the supply isn't there. For local employers like Hemlock Semiconductor, which makes a critical component used in computer chips, hiring has been tough, and it's only expected to continue. We've been struggling to find uh, applicants and, and competent skilled tradesmen um, to fill our openings presently. This energy sector will create millions of jobs across America if we bring that supply chain home. The focus on bringing manufacturing back into the U.S., that demand is just con gonna continue to grow. Keeping these students in mid-Michigan is critical to sparking growth in the local economy. Everything is connected to everything. That's the view of Ken Horn with the Great Lakes Bay Regional Alliance. After serving in the state legislature for more than a decade, Horn has seen how critical the Saginaw Career Complex is in providing a pipeline of talent. When young people are, you know, are looking at what to do in, in this region, they have unlimited opportunities. I always tell the students that they need to have confidence, that they know more than what they, they think they know leaving this program. Hook a blue hose up to it and see what you get. They've got a good grasp of multiple things to let them go places, and then the rest is up to them how far they want to go and where they're going to end up at. We're reading about. And with such demand, many of these um, students have their choice of exactly where they would like to end up. Around 70 PSI. I'm hoping to start work-based learning after this semester with a good company from Local 85, because that's the company I want to go to, the union, and start an apprenticeship and be out of it in five years and start working for good. When you're done, make sure you shut the tank off. And those in the industry say these students will only continue to have the upper hand in forging their future.